this whole debate about women and, and women's spaces being for women, um, this is a sorority, so a woman's dormitory on a University of Canberra, I think it's University of Wyoming. They've got someone who's you know, 120 kilos, six foot two, who has declared that they are a woman, uh, pitching for accommodation in the sorority. Um, some pretty concerning stuff that the women in the sorority are saying that they've seen his visibly aroused, being around the women. Um, we're talking about their, their domestic quarters here, their dormitories, their bathrooms, etc. They were interviewed recently with Megan Kelly. Um, have a listen. Goodness, and this person's moving into the sorority house next year? What's interesting about that, Megan, is that uh, there has been an exemption granted for him, for his safety, but not for these young women. You've got to say, the emperor's got no clothes here. This person hasn't had any transitioning at all, no drugs, no treatment, no nothing. It's literally a bloke who yesterday was a bloke and today says he's a girl and he's living with these women. Peter, this is a frightening state of affairs and I think this problem is going to become more prevalent and I think not enough is being done to stop this now. And that's why women who are standing up for women's rights are suddenly declared that they're anti-trans. We've seen that happen here in, in Victoria with Moira Redeeming. I think we really need to clamp down on this now because this is a worry. I mean, I don't want to go into a women's toilet and have a man in there with me. I don't think many women would, particularly with young women, vulnerable women. This is a frightening situation and needs to be stopped dead in its tracks. And it also, I guess, devalues people like, say, Kate McGregor, who has had a tortured path to be Kate McGregor from being Malcolm mm. McGregor. Um, Waking up one day and deciding you're a woman and wanting all the rights of women and access to women's spaces is a very different mm. circumstance, isn't it? You're correct. There's a fine line between what is the right thing to do for people's inclusivity and what is plainly wrong and against the safety of the majority, such as these young women here in a US college. And you're, again, completely right. Kate McGregor and other people like her have suffered with gender identity for decades and decades and decades and have fought it their whole entire life versus somebody who gets up one day and says, I might identify as this, mm. but I'm not going through that journey and I just want people to make rules for me.